Hi guys, Miss Kelly here. Welcome back to Sunshine State Academy's YouTube channel. Today I've got a math game for us using one of my classroom manipulatives um, for counting, as well as a pair of dice. And then I've got a white dry erase board behind me. You can use a pencil and a paper. This is going to be for my addition sentences. So we're gonna create addition sentences using classroom manipulatives, different objects and counters in the classroom, as well as being able to create our own sentences using the numbers that we roll, making it a really fun game to be able to do at home, in classrooms, in different group sizes. Very fun game. My kindergartners enjoy it and I really enjoy being able to do it with them. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So let's get into the video. So I'm using my classroom manipulative and the first thing that I'm going to do is roll my dice. So I take it and I take it and I shake it. And when they drop, I grab the two numbers that show up. These are gonna be my add-ins, okay? The add-ins are the numbers that we are going to add together. So the first thing that I want to show is inside of our manipulative, we're going to use the very top row first, okay? The very top row first to show what our addition sentence should look like. And then we will write out the addition sentence using our numbers and the sentence itself. So I rolled the number one and the number six. So I'm going to separate one of my manipulatives right up here, you see it up here. And then I've also got I've got my six here, and we're going to close these off because I have more than six on this side. So I rolled the number six, six counters plus one more. If we add it together, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one equals seven. So out of the pair of dice that I rolled, I got six counters plus one more is going to equal seven. You can even draw down here for our younger friends that are learning how to create addition sentences. We can even draw down here the counters that we used. So we're going to go ahead and draw six small counters looking just like the counters that we used. Six, not seven. And one more, like this little guy right here and it's going to equal the seven all together when we add these counters all together. So we know that we are correct. We can double check our work by recounting our counters. We can double check our work by counting out the counters that we drew and making sure that our addition sentence has the first add-in that we rolled six plus one more, which is the second add-in that we rolled, equals all together our answer seven. Good job guys, let's try a couple more. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that one off the board. Let's see if I can get my next number. So I'm gonna push this one over to the side until we get our number correct, correctly done. Let's use the color yellow next. I'm gonna take my dice, I'm gonna roll it. Okay, awesome, so we've got six, and three, I rolled six and then I rolled three. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, and three. There's one gonna be left out here. I'll just cover it so we don't get confused. When we count our yellows, we're gonna see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three equals nine counters. Let's go ahead and write that out on the board. My first add-in is six, like the number that I rolled on my die. Plus, because we are using our addition sign, three more counters, which is these three right here at the very end, is going to equal nine all together. Again, guys, you can check your work by drawing out these counters on your paper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then these three little guys right here, one, two, and three. If you add them all together, you're going to get to your number nine. So we know that our work here is correct. And the different setup that we have here in our yellow counters is correct as well. Alrighty, my friends, let's do two subtraction problems, two subtraction problems so that we can see how subtraction does work with these guys as well. 
I'm gonna go down to my color red. You're gonna see it over here on this side. And again, you can roll the dice. It's the same way that we play the game, except this time we're gonna take away instead of add. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it. Whoa, that one went crazy over here. We've got the number six, and then I rolled the number three. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, we're gonna forget about these guys over here. We've got our six right here in the middle. We're gonna take away because it is subtraction and we need to take away my second addend is three. So we're gonna say goodbye to three. One, two, and three. And we're gonna hide them in our little bunch. And what's left, guys, is one, two, three. So six minus three equals three left over, which we can see right here in my bottom um, red row. My friends, we rolled six counters, and we know that when we are doing subtraction with our minus sign, we are taking away. So we're gonna go ahead and take away one, two, and three, which leaves us with three counters left. Three counters left, we are correct. We can double check on our manipulative to see if we are correct. Yes, we were left with three here, and we were left with three on our manipulative as well. Saying goodbye to that one, let's do one more subtraction problem to make sure that we understand the game. Again, this is really fun to do in groups. Um, I usually, I have kindergartners, so I normally do them in um, groups of three or four kindergartners where they can each have a turn rolling the dice and um, pushing over the manipulative to make their addition sentence or their subtraction sentence. They like to do all the different parts and each different part does help develop um, the understanding of taking away or adding to a group. It also develops the understanding of writing the sentence, um, subtraction sentence or addition sentence, writing it out and actually seeing it written out on a piece of paper or on a board. It's a really fun game and it works on a couple of different things in math when it comes to addition and subtraction. So I definitely recommend it for kindergarten, first grade, even second grade if you wanna get into even harder numbers. Alrighty, the last numbers that I rolled was the number three. Oh, I grabbed it and I dropped it. The number, where was I, three? The number three, and then I also rolled the number two. We're gonna go ahead and do a subtraction problem out of that. So let's go down here to the green line right over here. We know that we're going to need to start with the number three. So let's push over three. This is the number over here that we are working with, and we need to take away, like say goodbye, to two of them, so three minus two. So goodbye one, goodbye two. And it leaves us with this lonely little counter all by himself right over here, which means that we can write out our addition sentence three minus, remember to use your subtraction sign, two equals with just this one lonely guy right over here at the side. If you draw them out in the counters that we used, we started with the big, big number three, like we always do in subtraction, the big, the biggest number in the group, and then we're gonna take away two. If we take away two, we just get left with one left over, which means your answer is correct. And again, you can check it in a couple of different ways. You can check it in your counters that you drew, in your subtraction sentence, and as well as on your manipulative or the objects that you're using while playing the game. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a great time. Remember to take your time when you are doing addition and subtraction. Remember to be using the correct symbols like the addition sign plus or the subtraction sign minus and understanding if we are adding to a group, making it bigger or if we're taking away from a group, making it smaller. Thank you guys for playing with me. Until next time, bye guys.